Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo channel. I hope you're staying safe, healthy and positive during this time of crisis amongst the COVID-19. Now, uh, today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing a cool new product. This is the, hey, focus, the Think Driver. Uh, made by a company Think Car and it's now under Kickstarter, under their Kickstarter campaign where you can get it for $36. Yes, I'm gonna link the Kickstarter down in the description below. Also, there are a few other products on Amazon and on their website where you can check them. They also make Think Car, which is an OBD scanner, uh, regular Bluetooth OBD scanner with uh, a little bit of extended functionality, and their uh, Think Diag, which is a mechanic level um, tool with uh, software for different types of cars but today's star is the Think Driver. Think Driver is currently $36 under their Kickstarter campaign and it is a Bluetooth OBD scanner with extended functionality and my favorite feature it's gonna have the 0 to 60 time of your car. Awesome for $36 isn't it? So uh, let's unbox it there it is, tank driver. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna do all this with one hand since I'm holding the camera. And, oops, I broke it. There you go. Pretty nice packaging, by the way. And make sure that you notice this thing. Uh, okay, focus, this is your serial number. I am not the most professional unboxer, but here we are. This, I hope you can see it, is the product. It is a 16-pin OBD thing driver. So, one more thing comes in the box, and that's the serial number and the activation code. And for that, we're gonna need a phone. And on the phone, we're gonna need to download the Think Driver app. I have no idea if you can see on my phone, but there is the Think Driver app. Just a side note, there are a community of people that participate in the Think Driver. Uh, here we go. And if you have any problem, you can be helped by uh, other people. And you can post the diagnostics of your own car on there and get replies and uh, tips from other people, other car enthusiasts who are using the application. But let's do this. I'm gonna connect the OBD reader into the OBD port of my car. Uh, we are currently in my CL and since I removed the seat in the previous video, we are greeted with the SRS Visit Workshop um, light. To delete this light, yes, the Think Driver is able to delete the SRS light on your car. Amazing. Now, let's connect it and uh, see what functionality we can get out of it. All right, now that we have the application right here installed and uh, we're gonna click in and we're gonna look through the functionality. We have all system diagnostics, maintenance functions, OBD functions, flashlight, which is a regular flashlight, and then acceleration timer nice full menu uh, I looked at it a few days ago and it wasn't uh, it was missing the maintenance functions and acceleration timer was a function that wasn't available yet super excited that we have this we're gonna test it out later on maybe on the e-class because the CL uh, doesn't have tags yet I'm waiting for COVID to pass so I can register it all right let's look at this first right here on top it says that uh, the Bluetooth driver is disconnected so we're gonna hit this we're gonna connect it A little Bluetooth is coming over here so we have it connected usually in the beginning I like to do this hit this and hit firmware fix which uh, renews the firmware of the Bluetooth driver itself but I did that already. So what we're gonna do now is go to all system diagnostics and hit that. It should very well find the VIN number of the car, the make, the model, and the year. Uh, 
it says Mercedes-Benz CLK 2005 free 350 uh, day all system diagnostics and two special functions for one VIN bind this VIN now and we're gonna bind it here we go we're gonna update with the correct software for Mercedes we can see the software is loading I'm gonna speed this up a little bit all right the software is updated and it gives us an option right here functions gives us a VIN number car model and system configuration and we're gonna do a full system scan health report and system selection so let's do the system scan first all right we're doing a switch on ignition it gives us a percentage of the scanning it says electronic selector module not equipped DTR module not equipped ECM engine control management equipped engine control module I mean now electronic stability program is gonna uh, check it and see if uh, we have that module and we're still at 10% which means we have a lot of module to go through on the CL this is one of the things we wanted to see the SRS or the um, restraint system module is actually equipped so we are going to be able to uh, erase the restraint system visit workshop light that is uh, present currently on the dashboard and notice this we're getting so much information of about all the modules some are equipped some are not but we're still at 41 percent so i'm gonna speed this up again a little bit so many control modules that till we get to 100% uh, my phone actually died and these are the, si the system equipped modules on my car uh, so I'm gonna go and look at some of them transmission control okay you can read the fault codes and clear the fault codes of the transmission and give you model information uh, on the car itself so let's look at this okay we're gonna read the fault codes so we have this feedback through the transmission it's not maintained and the stop lamp switch signal sent from the transmission uh, CAN bus is implausible so we're gonna go back cleared fault codes we're gonna clear them why not we're gonna switch the ignition off hit OK says wait for 10 seconds switch the ignition back on we're gonna go ahead and read the codes again and we're gonna see that we have no faults awesome now one thing that I wanted to do for a really long time is look at the SRS turn ignition on it's already on we're gonna read the fault codes we're gonna see a signal to the component s blah blah left front seat belt buckle restraint system switch has short circuit to positive or open circuit uh, this is because I unplugged uh, and plugged my seat so I can get my uh, seats conditioned they look good now uh, but it triggered the SRS code so we're gonna go back we're gonna clear the fault code are you sure you want to clear the fault memory only do this if you have already fixed the problems obviously of your car otherwise they're gonna reappear right away so we're gonna hit clear the codes and it's gonna prompt us to uh, shut the car off please read the fault code read the fault code it's failed all right We're gonna go back we're gonna restart the car read the fault code clear the fault code switch off ignition and try it again
switch on ignition and hit OK. And just like that, clear fault memory is completed and we no longer have the... Here we go, no messages, no more SRS light. Beautiful. So let's see what else could this little scanner do. We're gonna go and head out of the uh, system scan and we're gonna... There is a health report as, as well and system selection, but we're gonna quit out of here and look at some of the OBD functions as well. Okay, it's gonna check which protocol it can use so it can connect to the car. OBD ISO canvas protocol failed, but up until it gets to this far, fast protocol, all of them are gonna fail, and this fast protocol is gonna connect and match to the car. So now we have the VIN number right here, and we have readiness and not readiness spark and protocol types and stuff like that information important part i am readiness this is for your um, um emissions you can read live data read the freeze frame uh, read fault codes we're gonna read the fault codes just for the heck of it see if we have any fault codes stored on the system no fault codes so we're gonna hit back yes clear the fault codes if any test results for the O2 sensor monitoring and control operation of onboard component systems. I don't think we have the onboard component systems, but let's take a look. Control onboard system is unavailable on this vehicle. Yep. And read the vehicle information. Let's see if we can so we can read the VIN, calibration ID, calibration ID number, use performance track spark ignition, blah, blah, blah. These are things that tuners are gonna use and things like that. I have no use of it personally because I don't know how to use it, but I like this, the read live data mode. You can select what to read. For example, I'm gonna select RPM because I like that. Um, fuel system, why not? Uh, psst, la, la, la. Let's see something with temperature. Fuel term vehicle speed sensor. You can read the speed. Engine coolant temperature. Right, here we go. We're gonna read these three and see what works. So here we go. We have a 203 degree Fahrenheit, which is I guess around 100 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, engine RPM. If I press the engine, the RPM goes up. So this is life. Uh, Fuel system, closed, open, and drive. Well, these are some interesting things. We can uh, we can press for more information, I guess. Here is the RPM uh, chart. And if I press, I can see that it goes up and down. This is interesting information. Now, main part is this, this little scanner you can get for uh, about $36 on Kickstarter. We're gonna end the session and we're gonna quit uh, because I wanna take the this little uh, Bluetooth driver and bring it to my other car and test the zero to 60 acceleration tool. Hopefully this connects, here we go. Vehicle acceleration and we can hit start and it's up to 100 or up to 200 kilometers per hour which uh, is um, 62 miles per hour for us so let's do this we're gonna disconnect from here and go on the other car but before we do that uh, I gotta say it is super cool that uh, I worked out the discount code for you guys and it's car ghost 10 you can go ahead on the on the website and on at checkout not on Kickstarter because that product is not uh, ready yet but if you go to uh, my think driver my think car I believe is the website I'm gonna list it down below uh, you can get 10% uh, discount with the code car goes 10 um, yep let's get out of the CL and go in the e-class and see the fault codes there all right we're now in the e-class and let's go ahead and connect the driver it's already connected um, here we go, we're in the E-Class. 
uh, we are gonna try and do all system diagnostics it's gonna have to read our VIN real quick here we go Mercedes-Benz E-Class uh, 2006 reading the mileage from the ECU here we go from 2005 to 2006 up to 2005 as of 2006 we're gonna do from 2005 to 2006 E354 Matic to W211 um, there you go okay now we can do a full system scan again but we are not gonna do that we just wanna go ahead and do OBD functions because I had a check engine light a few days ago and I want to see what it was all about we can also read and uh, clear those codes as well now it's here we go okay we're gonna do read fault code and we have all these now this is gonna help me diagnose what my problem with that is uh, uh, as well as I can give the give it to the mechanic I see camshaft po positioning sensor timing over retorted bank one intake manifold runner control stuck closed bank 1a uh, intake manifold runner control stuck closed bank 1a so this is the same code initially um, we're gonna go back I'm gonna take a snapshot and I'm gonna go back and clear the fault codes since I don't have a check engine now right now uh, the test conditions are not met please change the test condition okay clear fault code yes and DTCs have been cleared yes we're gonna try and uh, read fault codes again no fault codes perfect and we don't have the check if I turn it on we, gonna, we don't have the check engine light any longer we didn't have it before but um, we had it a few days ago and it cleared itself off so beautiful now we're gonna take the car down to Mexico and we're gonna see if this acceleration timer actually works so we're gonna connect the Bluetooth on and um, I will hope for the best okay we're in a small street on Tijuana Mexico we're gonna hit start and it says please obey the traffic rules I'm gonna hit the gas right here there was not enough space and we hit 16 uh, 40 something kilometers an hour okay we couldn't hit 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers per hour uh, 62 pardon me but we found out that this little tank driver is a really powerful tool and it could be part of the uh, every DIY IRS um, tool toolbox it reads a lot of stuff it reads vehicle specific uh, codes and uh, modules that uh, other simple OBD readers don't um, it also doesn't cost a whole lot on Kickstarter $36 is a steal for this and you can add a second VIN number for the specific um, for the specific functions like uh, if you have a Toyota and a Mercedes car uh, you can add them both and get uh, both uh, manufacturer specific codes for the airbags and for other systems on the car uh, for 54 I believe it is now on Kickstarter but this little thing I'm really happy I got it and I'm super excited about the future of it we're gonna do a lot more 0 to 60 uh, runs 0 to 62 of course on the highway or in Mexico wherever we fit possible uh, again car goes 10 is the code to get 10% off any other think car product uh, on their website I'm also gonna have Amazon links to their products down below in the descriptions if you did like the video hit the thumbs up for a lot more videos to come and subscribe if you like the channel why not it helps me a lot and it helps promote promote and spread the love and stay home stay safe stay healthy and stay positive bye <laughs>